let's check out now the PT envelopes for mixtures, which is much more useful. I mean, the PT envelopes for a pure substance does not show the area in which a mixture will have vapor and liquid. So this here will be liquid and this here will be vapor. Now, the green one is the one which is the most, uh, let's say, eager to be vapor and the liquid one will be the least volatile. So envelope means the area of vapor liquid volume here. Okay, now the composition is once again fixed guys. So whenever you, let's say, model 25, 25 kilomole of water and ethanol will be of course different than a 75 to 25 mix of water ethanol. Good thing is that it will always show the 0% vapor, that is liquid line, and the 100% vapor line, that is complete vapor. And anything in between, guys, you know it's a mixture. Now, this is awesome, especially if you're searching for uh, vapor liquid mixtures, and if you want to know in distillation, so you know you want to know which conditions will give me a vapor liquid mix and which conditions will give me a liquid vapor only. Okay, so many times we start at one point and we separate that into one left here. So this will be a conditions given for the liquid distillate and this will be the vapor distillate. So now we're including the 50% uh, vapor vapor fraction, which assumes that here 50% is liquid and the other 50% is vapor. In this line, we assume that only there's liquid, and in the green line, we assume there's only vapor. We can complex that and add more interest lines. So, so let's say we want the 0, 25, 50, 75, and 100 vapor lines. They are present here. So they go from here to here. This is 0% vapor. 25% vapor, 50% vapor, 75% vapor, and 100% vapor. So maybe you're wondering why do you want to do this? Well, maybe you want to separate into a 50-50 mix. You have a mixture, you input it into a flash, you need to identify the temperature and pressure at which you should separate this mixture in order to get 50-50%. Uh, or let's say 50 in the vapor phase and 50 in the liquid phase.